Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about massive news of FedNow actively using Hedera and we'll go into detail and provide insights in regards to what this will mean for HBAR token holders. So before we talk about the main story today, I'd like to show you a clip which features the CEO of Drop, which is the organization which is actively built on Hedera and has been actively integrated into the Federal Reserve's FedNow payment protocol. And during the clip, the CEO of Drop goes into detail and provides insights in regards to what this development and partnership will involve. Sushil, I think it's fair to say that the Hedera community was blindsided by the inclusion of Drop on the FedNow website, and there's a fair amount of confusion. Can you explain to us what it means for FedNow to showcase Drop? Absolutely. Uh, uh, and I can understand if they were blindsided. Um, so as you understand, Brandon, Drop is a, a micropayment platform, an extremely cost-effective platform that was built on Hadera Hashgraph's di distributed ledger. But we also use regulated banking technology uh, to make this payment platform happen, right? So that you can make payments in Web3 digital currencies, and you can also make payments in fiat, specifically currently US dollar, U USD, right? So What's happening in the, in the world in general, and some part of our vision is driven by the global emergence of real-time payments by the banking industry. Um, in Brazil, you have PEX. In India, they have UPI, which has become very, very popular and de become de facto standard there. And in the United States, we have two instant payment rails. One is called RTP by the clearinghouse. And the second one we just got introduced is a Fed now, and everyone is excited about it. And I can see why the community is excited about it. So we drop as a payment platform, we offer instant payments. So, and I've mentioned this several times on your show that we've been working with the uh, financial institutions, specifically banks, to enable RTP. We have shared our product with the clearinghouse, uh, which, is had, which has had real-time payments since 2017. And then we also shared our platform with the Fed, uh, specifically the Fed Now team in, in March. And it, it's a slow process, it's a long process, and they were excited about it. The product looks really good. So the, let me just tell you what the issue is with all these real-time uh, payment infrastructure all over the world. They're incredibly fast. They do real-time settlement of fiat currencies, but they're just rails. You need... You need all the payment capability, you need the user experience, you need all of that stuff to make payments happen. So when you do digital shopping or you do any shopping, all of that experience that you have and all of the experience that the merchant has, that has to be all built. So we built all of that so that you could have real-time payments. So we've been in conversation with banks to enable RTP and then now to enable FedNow. And we were fortunate enough uh, in March, uh, in the month of March, when we showed the product, the FedNow team liked it and they said, we would like to showcase your product, which happened, I think, last week. Uh, we just, um, we wanted to make an announcement once we are live with that product, as opposed to just being showcased in it. And I think one of the uh, Hadera community members saw it and it got wildly excited. We are very excited. I think it's, uh, this is the future. The future is instant payments. And you should be able to make the payments, whether it's digital currency or you want to make with using uh, US dollar or any currency, you should be able to do that. We are at the forefront of that. So using Hadera's uh, extremely cost-effective distributed ledger technology, and now with the Fed now and the clearinghouse uh, RTP protocol, very soon you'll be able to make payments using Drop instantaneously. Right now, right now in Drop, you use ACH. Like when you fund your account, you use ACH. So it takes a day or two. And that's fine for now, but the entire world is moving in this direction of instant payments. And we want to make, have Drop bring that to everyone so that you can make simple everyday purchases using Drop. That, that's the idea. So as detailed by the Drop CEO, Drop will be at the center of payment authorization and execution on FedNow's payment services. So this means that individual users of FedNow's payment, instant payment systems can also use drop services. So as we spoke about in yesterday's video, FedNow is at the center of providing instantaneous payment protocols across the wider US marketplace. And the FedNow payment protocol has been live since June of this year.
So the active rolling out of the FedNow payment protocol coupled with the active plugging of Drop, we'll see Drop also comes with a number of benefits, not only for the overarching Hedera network, but also for active users of Drop services and an extension FedNow, where as highlighted by the Hedera team, Drop offers a number of services including micropayments for small value transactions in both HBAR, USD and USDC. So this means that merchants, businesses and even individuals can harness the benefits Drop provides to enable instantaneous payments to be authorised at any given time. In this case, in FedNow services. So the main reason as to why FedNow has actively incorporated DROP services into their protocols is due to DROP having a number of innate qualities which makes it highly attractive for instantaneous payment protocols, most notably due to DROP being actively plugged into Hedera. So this means the payment programming engine can verify over 10,000 transactions per second and the settlement and finality rate surrounding actions and transactions on DROP and an extension Hedera ranges in speed from three to five seconds and all of these actions are done in a cost-effective manner where it costs less than one cent to actively verify a transaction on drop so all around it makes abundant sense as to why fed now has incorporated drop services into their protocols not only is it fast provides low finality rates it is also very cost effective so all around beneficial for fed now so this is a nice diagram that illustrates the direct partnership between FedNow and Drop and how Hedera is at the center of this development and how protocols and initiatives surrounding the verification of transactions will be actively powered by Hedera. So extremely exciting and time will tell in regards to the benefits this partnership will have on the overarching Hedera network. So let's get into more detail and discuss how this partnership will affect Hedera. So as mentioned, FedNow services went live on July 20th of 2023 so a few months ago now so fed now is a fairly new innovation that has been rolled out onto the open market and since the rolling out of fed now services the federal reserve which is at the center of enabling fed now services has made it abundantly clear that 57 companies have been cleared to use fed now services so there's already some organizations that are at the center of utilizing fed now services as we speak so extremely exciting and it indicates how some organizations are taking on the benefits of instantaneous payment protocols and payment infrastructure. So all around very exciting and it's only the first steps in the wide scale usage of FedNow. So some of the organizations which are at the center of using FedNow services as we speak include JP Morgan, Wells Fargo and the People's Bank. So despite FedNow services being actively utilized by 57 in institutions at the moment, the Federal Reserve has great ambitions where they're aiming for their services to be used by over 4,000 banks and other financial institutions. So the Federal Reserve are making slow progress, but eventual progress. But again, this development is still relatively new. So we won't see the huge demand to its services as of yet. But as time progresses, I'm sure a lot more organisations, including financial organisations and banks, will take on the benefits of FedNow and harness the innate qualities FedNow provides. So time will tell in regards to the abundant level of benefits this cooperation could have not only for financial services but also for Hedera. So what does this all mean for Hedera? So with the likes of the mentioned organisations as mentioned JP Morgan, Wells Fargo and other organisations actively already using FedNow services, these financial institutions may choose to harness the benefits DROP services provide. So this could see the likes of JP Morgan sending data sets and other protocols to other branches of its banks or to other financial bodies through DROP services. And this will see the organisation indirectly harnessing the benefits of Hedera's consensus and tokenization service. So with potentially billions, if not more, transactions being actively verified and enabled through FedNow services, this and in extension drop services, this could see the demand for HBAR increasing as again drop services is actively built and present on Hedera's public service, consensus service. So when actions and transactions are 
enabled and carried out on drops network this will see very invariable increases to the demand for h bar and as a result the price of h bar may see synonymous increases and this adds to a growing list of use cases surrounding hedera's network and it may lead to hedera continuing to be the most widely utilized network on the marketplace and again only time will tell in regards to how this active utility of Hedera's network will have on the overarching Hedera consensus and tokenization service. So time will tell, but it's extremely exciting for Hedera and for HBAR token holders. So this isn't the only venture the Hedera project has with big bodies across the US marketplace. So not only does Hedera now have an active partnership with the Federal Reserve, the uh, Department of State in the US have actually highlighted to the benefits Hedera's network provides. When an article published on March 29th, 2023, the article was entitled Private Sector Commitments to Advance Democracy. So the article went to detail and provided insights to a number of organizations and technological advancements that could improve cybersecurity applications. So during the article, Hedera was actually mentioned where it stated that Hedera Convening Democracy Roundtable on how blockchain technology supports human rights, transparency and sustainability. Where the heading and detail surrounding Hedera went into further insights and detail in regards to the democratisation of blockchain technology due to Hedera being actively backed and based and managed by its governing council members. So Hedera is making strong headwinds across not only private organizations, but also with governments and financial institutions. So the wide scale utility of Hedera's network is quite broad in its utility and it adds to a broad range of versatile projects and partnerships Hedera is actively associated with. So extremely exciting for Hedera and time will tell in regards to what this will mean for the overarching Hedera network. And for HBAR token holders, as I previously mentioned, HBAR will be at the center of verifying transactions in the FedNow payment protocol and in extension, other developments involving financial services, not only across the US, but other regions around the world. So Hedera could become a powerhouse, not only in typical DeFi applications associated with the majority of other DLTs, but also for real world use cases, especially surrounding cross-border payments. And in the case of FedNow, the authorization and the transferring of data sets within an economy, in this example, the US. What are your thoughts on Hedera? Are you excited about Hedera's association with fed now let us know your views in the comments below thank you for watching crypto clan don't forget to like subscribe and click on the notification bell let us know your views in the comments below thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video